Every time I think that place is done, it comes through for us, doesn't it, buddy? Oh, man. Huh? Yes. Oh, my God. We had an awesome, awesome day today. What's the oldest uh, copper coin you ever found, buddy? Uh, 1694. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy broke through the 1600s on copper today. An awesome coin. You actually get the date off of his good. Uh, I got one here. I don't think we'll be able to get the date off of it, but I did pretty good, though. Got a cannonball. Yes, sir. I love cannonball. it, man. Um, but we did hit a couple good spots in the field. Every time you think you're done, you start walking through there and uh, Joe actually found the first set there with all the coins, mm -hmm. modern coins. Yep. Man, there's modern coins everywhere, right? I everywhere. Mean, he was digging them like crazy. Yep. I came out and dug a few, and then Buddy walked 30 feet from me. There's a bunch more, mm -hmm. but they weren't all modern coins there. No. <laughs> Buddy dug one first one right there, the 1694, and then 10 feet away, I dug two coppers right beside. You know they're old. We don't know what they are off the top, but anyway, we know they're old. And we got some awesome, awesome other stuff. We're going to show you right now. Y'all ready? Yes. Let's give them a show. Let's do it. All right, we're going to start off with a big overview of everything. Oh, my God. Look look how much stuff we dug today. And not that much trash today, buddy. Look at that. No, it wasn't. I did not dig that much as, as I have dug on that price. Well, maybe we're getting all the trash out of the way. Uh, there's a several shells in there you get. Uh, I'm not sure what that even is. But look at that while I'm hunting or anything else. Let's see what that is. I'll start off with this right here. I think it's a six pound cannonball. Uh, could be Civil War or it could be Rev War. I'm not sure. But uh, definitely what we're going to do, I'm going to clean this up really good, preserve it. You got to do electrolysis on it. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, Dan Friesen, he's an expert on these cannonballs. And I didn't think I'd have to do electrolysis on it because it, um, it was in the dry ground. It was not in salt water. But he says even though it's in the dry ground, there's enough salt in the soil, you need to go ahead and do electrolysis on it. Not as long because there's not as much in it, but you do need to do electrolysis, which I'll do, and then preserve it with a nice coat that turns it black uh, and shiny black. It'll be beautiful for a display right there. Uh, we hit that one area that had all the modern coins in it, and that's dug a few there for sure, dot bucks worth. Uh, the old colonial of spots, you know you got a lot of lead. I dug a bunch of lead. You dug a bunch of lead, buddy? A few pieces, yeah. yeah. You dug some bullets. Um, <clears throat> there's a musket ball. And y'all saw Buddy dig one of these last time. It wasn't quite this big, though, was it? The one you dug? But we think it's a like a um, sword scabbard tip. Mm -hmm. it'd, be, it'd, be, it'd be a case going on here and a sword to go in here. And it'll probably have a little tip on it, which I didn't have that. But you see like a triangle shape. And actually, you see it straight and kind of curved like a... Like a sword or, or knife would go into that right there. So I'm pretty sure that's what that is right there. I did get a beautiful, beautiful uh, shoe, shoe buckle. I believe that's what that is. And if y'all think it's something different, let me know. But I'm pretty sure that's a shoe buckle. Probably it could be 1600s. And I did get two coppers. We'll see buddies in just a minute. But this one, you can see uh, that it does have some bust on them. And, but I can't make it out yet. If I come out with something, I'll add it in this video after we close out here. But I'm going to be looking. It does have some design on some of them that I can see that hopefully I can maybe make out. This was found right next to Buddy's. I'll go ahead and show you that first. Right here. 1694. It's a William & Mary half penny made in Great Britain. Beautiful, beautiful coin right there. Let me put it over here so I can get a good picture up there on the screen for you. That is an awesome coin, buddy. Congratulations on that one right there. That's awesome right there. And, buddy, while he was digging the modern coins, he actually dug two 50-cent pieces. And uh, But uh, he got a lot of other stuff here, uh, regular clad coins. And he dug a few bullets. Civil War bullet right there. Three-ringer. It has a star in the back of it. You know. Oh, it does have? Mm -hmm. It's got a star. It's a star. Oh, good job for cleaning it out and checking that. <laughs> the star boat was made in the Washington Arsenal in Richmond, Virginia, Confederate. Pretty cool. And some more later. Oh, and he, while he was digging 
one of his holes, this popped out, an old pipe bowl. And we should measure that and get the, uh, so I might do that and I'll put it up on the screen if I do that. Uh, I got some drill bits I can stick in there and tell the yep. thickness and that can tell you how old that uh, pipe bowl is. So we'll check that out too. I I'll check that out and stick it up there. I think that might be off a pair of scissors. Uh, buddy said so he thinks that could be scissors. It could be, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. And that's definitely off of a buckle right here. Right there. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. And Joe got him some... He was digging in that clad area because he was wearing these bullets out. He said he's cleaning the trash out for us. <laughs> uh, this was this was pretty nice right here. This is a um, tack, uh, mm -hmm. like a leather tack that goes mm -hmm. on there because he thought it was a button, but you can see the two... Um, pieces that goes through the leather and then they bend it over to hold it to the leather right there that that's a nice little piece right there that's not bad at all and he's thinking maybe they're buttons what do you think they are buddy just like almost but that was a button because i was looking at the end of the centerpiece fell out oh okay I gotcha it, yeah. yeah it must be the same on that one and we couldn't quite figure that one out i think it's it looks like a bullet on the end and a musket ball on one end so i'm not sure what I that is that. also oh did you mm -hmm. And that might be one where they made and they cut the spew off right there. Mm -hmm. and it's not cut off. That's what that looks like. You never know what you're going to find at places like this. Uh, what is that, buddy? That's a, a rose company out of New York. Oh, flower that thing? Company, yeah. A flower company. <laughs> probably some, some more modern right yeah. there, probably. But, uh, hey, this ain't all modern, though, is it, buddy? No, sir. Uh, I forget what that. That's a little uh, thing that comes from a little training institute. Probably not that old. But we do have some super old stuff and it is a lot of fun we had we had a blast today didn't we oh yeah i mean it was a blast you found fishing weights in the middle of the field oh you did <laughs> i found some fishing weights in that same field but we're next to water so people don't and that one hole you dug you dug um yes this pottery oh this, the pottery no here's some red wear here come out of that one hole and that's where the 1600 coin was in that year so mm -hmm. that's probably some old stuff right there this finger here pretty cool and that came out of that mm -hmm. hole you were digging that stuff mm -hmm. out of. i'm not some kind of tool they had back then did that come out of that hole too yep it did okay i'm not sure what that is anybody know put in the comments below pretty cool awesome stuff here i'll tell you should we go back again fellas yes i definitely need to go back you think again. So? i yes. gotta get Every on the board time i tell I you think it's done it comes through for me again so i'm gonna say we would definitely go back but we have pounded it and we, oh yes me and buddy's been several times that we have i mean gritted off pounded but every time we think we're done we get another hit Final crazy spot. so yep. we're not gonna say we're done yet are we buddy no, we we'll no. definitely have to hit it again and uh we're giving everything to the owner and we're getting them a awesome display hopefully to put in the house as a seven early 1700s house they live in so hopefully they'll put a nice little layout and show everything that we found awesome it's gonna be awesome all right well appreciate everybody coming along with this hunt don't forget to click like comment below share and what do i gotta do fellas subscribe, subscribe to, to the, the game master, master. <laughs> good job fellas all right we'll see you in the next adventure